The fight with Sarah actually kind of came to fruition over Twitter. I thought, hey, maybe I could fight her next, you know, like, she takes on tough fights and stuff like that, and she's not someone that's gonna like run from a challenge, so I thought it'd be a good matchup. And I was like, well, okay, you know, because if someone's gonna call me out, of course, I'm not gonna, you know, back away from it. Bruce Buffer retweeted it and said he'd love to announce that fight and things like that, so I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like, I thought it would be a good fight, and I was really happy to see that other people thought it too. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a really tough fight, honestly. I think Sarah McMahon's gonna be really hard to put away. You know, I'm always gonna be looking for that. I think that there's gonna be a lot of stuff, a lot of action on the feet and a lot of action on the ground. I think it's gonna have like a lot of different displays of skills. I don't think I'm probably gonna be able to put her away in the first round, honestly. I think after, you know, I've, I've broken her will a little bit, you know, and she's not as successful with the takedowns and I've started to beat on her, I think that's when it's gonna be like a slippery slope and I think that the fight's gonna go more, the longer it goes, it's gonna go more in my favor. I haven't had many people try to take me down. Well, I anticipate that she will since, I mean, her name used to be Misha Takedown Tate, you know, and just really it's gonna reveal different areas of strengths and weaknesses in my game and in her game, and she just poses a different kind of threat than the other opponents that I face, and I like that. You know, I, I have the edge and experience with McMahon, but you know, her wrestling is rivaled by no one in the women's division. It's won her all, all the fights that she's won so far, you know, that she's been able to do that and execute the game plan and utilize her high caliber wrestling. My job is not to let that happen, honestly. I think that whoever wins out of this one makes a great argument to make another run at the title.